Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and guess what? I'm reviewing the market. I'm reviewing the SPY. Why? Because it's higher. And look at the nice volume here today. Beautiful. Okay, let's look at this. So look at the market and see what we did the last couple of days. Strange, weird. We fell on Thursday. We fell on Friday. We fell on Monday. And I thought that was odd. I was surprised. We should have rallied yesterday and followed through when triggered on a buy setup but didn't go anywhere. And I thought that was weird. And we were green on the day at one point yesterday in the morning. Somewhere along the line, it was late in the day. It was here. It was 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, we broke the low. We broke it hard. And I, I saw it. And I was like, did something happen? Did, did something happen in the world? And I couldn't find a thing. And I was like, all right, whatever. And then when we gapped up this morning, I thought, okay, fine. This makes sense now. Now the world is good. But we did break the low this morning and fell a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Picked ourselves up immediately and rallied and rallied huge. We will run out of day here, but I think we rallied to the close. I don't know where we closed, but we're not looking back. So my call is that we follow through higher tomorrow. Finally. We could have fallen harder in here. We did not. And this look is actually very bullish because we failed in a buy setup here. We actually traded down on a gap up. Okay, just follow me here. We gapped up today, traded and broke the low of yesterday and had no follow through. And we broke support actually in the gap up today. And we broke support yesterday and we didn't fall through lower. So I'm telling you, I mean, this is, we're holding now in the support. And there's multiple levels of support but i'm telling you we broke one level of support in the last two days and therefore actually the last four and we could have fallen but we didn't so we're holding the price the price and we're holding the strength and the strength of the market is real and it's there and we're being bought so look for follow through higher the rest of the week wednesday thursday friday i expect us to gap up or neutral tomorrow in fact i here here's my call for tomorrow we rally into the close wherever we wherever we close whether we get over two or six or not i don't know but either way, we're going to close today with the green bodies bar. Then what's going to happen tomorrow? Either a small gap up, hold, rally, go over the number, or neutral gap, come in a little rally quick, or gap down slightly, immediately go. I can't see any scenario tomorrow where we fall unless we gap up huge, but we're not going to fall even then. Because you know what? If, we, if I roll out of bed tomorrow morning, we're at 209 or 210, I'll jump up and down and start singing and dancing and we'll probably get over the high. So I can't see any scenario tomorrow where we're not gonna actually move higher on the live day tomorrow. What time it happens depends a lot on where we actually open and gap and trade into the open. Next week is a huge week for the market with a lot of earnings being reported. All the big names, all the big stocks. And I see that this is starting to set itself up right now this week, early on this week. So I'm already in some stuff and overnight getting ready for next week in options trades and this market looks amazing and i love to see the follow through with the overnight trades with the market for my day trades i'll short all day long no matter what the market's doing gotta watch your targets though gotta watch your exits with the market of the direction but the nice thing about today was the market fell into the into the open into the morning so the low here was set at 10 15. so you could have shorted quickly in the morning got out but then if you were in stuff short it didn't fall through in the afternoon um, if it was against the market, you had to be careful. Look, you could have gone long here around 12 o'clock, major reversal time. Beautiful. So nice buy, higher definitely will make a new highs this, this year, as I predicted. I don't know when, we have to watch it and see. But all of this is holding, it looks terrific, it looks great. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissatostockswish.com if you would like more information. And if you want to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, it's this weekend, April 16th and 17th. If you sign up by Friday, April 15th, tax day, you actually get the options letter free for the year. That's a great deal because it saves you actually almost three grand. And some of the calls that I've made are just fantastic. And here, this is one of them, to be in the spy long. You could be in an option trade. And it's good because of the fact that it's very expensive. So if you were in this, Obviously, it's cheaper to do an option than to buy the spy, the spy shares outright at you know at two hundred five sixty one. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa.thestockswish.com for more information. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.